Hey guys, welcome. I don't want to say I keep making myself saying welcome back to my channel. Hi guys. I don't even know how to start vlogs without saying that. No, I literally don't know. Hey guys, what's up? It's Kinsey. I literally don't know. Comment down below what I should say when I start my videos. Okay. Anyways, um, I took a few days off vlogging, which I haven't really been doing lately. Anyways, yesterday I didn't leave my house. Actually, pretty much all weekend I didn't really do anything. I started and finished Jessica Simpson's new book, open page, open book. It is so freaking good run don't walk guys and now i'm on demi moore's these are both like memoirs if you guys have more book recs let me know still watching nashville i just got back from the movies it's like 3 p.m and q and i have like a date morning early afternoon thing because he like works later so i like switch my day basically but um we went and saw the movie the invisible man oh my gosh that movie was so good wow but definitely like, watch the preview before you go see it because i don't want to like tell you guys to go see it and then you like hate my life you know what i mean so i'm back i'm here um today is actually the last day of finals for me so i need to kind of brush up on a project see if i can finish that because i really want to go to a spin class at 6 30. i just don't know if i'll be able to i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know anyways on to obviously more important things i have a haul for you guys so i went to north park today and i picked up a new chanola i also well here's my garage remote I also got Sour Patch Kids off the movies I didn't eat, but I got a new Chanola. But this one is the grid one. Oh, wait, it's plain pages. I definitely meant to get the grid, but I also like plain pages and I don't want to do a return. So I have plain pages now. Actually, I don't mind that. I actually kind of really like having plain pages. So that's fine. I go through these like um, probably every few months. Honestly, I use them like pretty frequently. Okay, so I made a big order from Misguided because they were 50% off, which they're always 50% off, I guess. But who cares? I got a really good deal on all this stuff. I'm gonna link everything down below for you guys. First thing, I got this just t-shirt bodysuit. I just really wanted like a nice black. I got it in other colors too. It's just cotton, really easy. It has like the thong thing, so it's easier. That sounds weird to say. It has a thong, congrats. Um, if you didn't know, it's easier to wear with jeans. Got this cute little oatmeal, long sleeve, thinner top. I just like have slowly but very quickly realized I have no clothes here. I wear the same thing every day. Let me over it. Okay, these I am unbelievably excited for. Oh my gosh. They are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm literally in love with them. They're so cute. I want more boots like this. Um, yeah, no, I'm literally obsessed with these. Okay, perfect. This is the best day of my life. Oh yeah, this sweater is a very long sweater. So this is the really long cream sweater. Um, super cute. I'd probably just wear it with jeans and who knows, but I'm a big fan. And I got the white version of that top. I'm definitely excited for these. So these are just some nice black pants. I really needed another pair of just like nice black pants and these look like they'll fit me actually perfectly. I got them in a US 6, super cute. And then this is just like a really oversized black t-shirt. I like how it's kind of like a box cut. It's just good to have. Oh, oh my gosh. This is what I really have been so excited for guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I really needed this and now it's kind of warming up in Texas. I got this in a US 6, but it's just this really long gray, trench coat like this is cute to even wear over sweats that's kind of the vibe i wanted for it um but just like every day i just didn't have a good coat you guys will see my um tan one but it was just too small so so yeah then i got this top which is super cute it's like this turtleneck really cool material i don't even know what to call it um another bodysuit then i got the same one in just a nude color right, these I am pumped for. I really needed a pair of nude pants, which I think I actually got a pair of nude pants in my revolve gifting. So we'll see. But they look so nice. Really excited for these. I guess I got this top, but I don't feel like I ordered this. Um, but it's just like a purple. I don't wear purple. That's why this is so odd. I mean, I guess maybe I will wear it. I don't like hate it. It's just that's weird. Okay, so I got my revolve gifting. So every month I get stuff from Evolve like on behalf of Evolve and then also um, I saw this on the site so I also picked this up for myself which I'm super pumped for because I had seen these on there before and I was obsessed and then they were on sale I think originally this set would have been like 350 obviously Revolve's very expensive and then I got it for like 100 total but it's so cute 
It's like this blue and black, like kind of silky thing. I got this in a size medium. It's from LPA. I'm worried that a medium is going to be too big, but I don't think that they even had small. I guess we'll see. And then the top is matching. So it basically looks like you are wearing pajamas. Oh my gosh. I didn't even realize that they had the, this is so cute. Oh, the shoulder pads. And then it has this, and then you kind of just tuck it in. I didn't even realize it had such big buttons, but it's just so cute. Oh my gosh, guys. This is my new merch that, as you guys are seeing, this is available now. Oh my gosh, you guys have probably seen this already since it's gone live, but yeehaw. Is that not the funniest thing you've ever seen? This is my genius idea I had a few like a few vlogs back ago. It's just so funny. It's so simple. Yeehaw. This is the same font. It's called Couture. It's like what Chanel uses. Oh my gosh. So I got an XL and a large in that. Run, don't walk. It's available on Amazon. I'm literally obsessed with it. It's so funny. I think it's just perfect for my new venture in Texas. My new Texas move. Very timely. We love this. Um, yeah, you can buy it on Amazon, so it comes pretty quickly. It's really easy to buy. Most of you guys already have Amazon accounts, but wow, I'm really excited. So I need to like take a photo on that and post. I think I want to go live Thursday. Okay. Um, I went to Nordstrom Rack and I got, okay, we literally, guys, I have my Kapari lip glossy stuff that I love. It's the best thing ever. Run, don't walk again. Why did I start saying that? Um, and we were in the mall and I was like, Quinton, it's not in my bag, that's so weird. And I knew I didn't leave it at home. And then we were walking out to my car and I found it on the ground. And it was like, it's a Tuesday at like 11 a.m. No one is at the mall at this point. So I knew it was mine. So I threw that away. We ran across the street to Park Lane because at Nordstrom Rack there they have these cheaper. And I also needed to pick up two Barefoot Dreams blankets. These are not for me, but I do have them on my couch right now. Um, they're gifts for people in my life right now. So... The Mayfair group works with 112s, which I'm sure you guys have seen them on Instagram because everyone and their mother loves them, but oh my gosh. Is this not the best thing you have literally ever seen? It is the best thing I've ever seen. Like, oh my gosh, I'm actually obsessed with that seat yesterday. Hated my closet today. It's gotten a lot better. Mainly because of these shoes, but like literally the coolest shoes I've ever seen in my entire life. So it's 112s, I'll um, link them down below as well because it's like literally the freaking coolest thing ever. One last box, which is under you, so I will switch you. The first thing I got, oh, I forgot I got a pair of LPA shoes as well. That's so exciting. Oh my gosh, okay. So this is what I mean, I got pants. Okay, so these are a size medium. They're actually song style and I just need pants so bad. So they're these like leather pants. I think they're called cigarette pants. Is that what they're called? But they just look so perfect. I'm really excited to try these on. Um, love them. The quality is really, really amazing. Then I got a pair of black leather pants. I didn't have like good black leather. These are like crazier than the ones I showed you earlier. Um, these are actually really wild. But with this stuff, I feel like you have to spend the money and get the better material. Because if I buy these cheaper from another website, they just make so much noise and they're really like obnoxious and while these are obnoxious um they just look nicer and they're better so i thought these are super cute love these we love this so these are the most beautiful so they're like wrap up chunky heels and they're absolutely beautiful so we love these i cannot wait to live in these and they look so comfy I'm really picky with heels, like I won't wear something that's uncomfortable. And then we have our little dust bag for them. So yeah, that's what I picked up. Anyways, I have a ton of editing to do, like so much, probably like four or five hours. Um, but I'm gonna do my little marketing assignment. Actually, I'll tell you guys a little bit about it. All right, so you guys have probably heard me talk about this in vlogs lately, but I randomly have become like very passionate about like finances, but more so like financial literacy, blah, blah, blah. So I came up with this whole business plan for a marketing class. Well, it's a marketing plan. Um, that is literally my ringtone. I just sent Q my merch. He replied with a bunch of fire emojis. He literally never uses those emojis. Also, if you guys haven't seen, I did. Get my white hydro. I feel like I'm catching up with my friends and I literally only did a vlog for like a day and a half. 
maybe 48 hours. So basically, it was this entire business plan for a company that does everything from, so the company does everything from like financial literacy, so teaching to um, like actually doing your taxes for you to like financial advisors, basically every single thing that sometimes is together and mostly isn't, if it sounds like it is and I'm just not explaining it all the way. I'm probably not explaining it well because I just got out of a movie and when I get out of a movie midday, I'm so out of it. Anyways, it didn't really exist. And then when I was looking and like researching and searching the web for this stuff, which I had already been looking for myself, I found the financial gym, which is basically what I was creating in class. And so it does exist. And so now I'm going to be working with them and that's what I'm going to do my financial like advising and stuff through. So I'm going to do an entire video probably after three to six months of doing it. I'm going to take you guys through the whole process of like what I do, all that stuff, which I'm really excited for. But right now, I need to finish this um, marketing plan to send in because it's my last thing to do for finals. Um, my school is in sessions, so like finals are this week. By the way, everyone, um, so I have 16 credits until I get my bachelor's. So I will finish either this summer if I decide to really cram or first session of fall. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Honestly, a lot of it depends on like when certain things are available. So we will see, but that's my college update. I'm so close to being done. Okay guys, I just made some celery juice. I've been meaning to do this. Lauren has been swearing by it and it used to be like the biggest deal. It definitely doesn't taste good, but you don't drink it for a taste. Um, I'm gonna drink this in the morning. So I think I'll probably have one tonight just because I don't know how long, like how far in advance I can make these. I only made three. But yeah, um, each one of these, I got these on Amazon as well. They're just glass bottles. I got six of them. Um, and each one of them is just like one bag of celery from Trader Joe's in case you guys are wondering. So technically the drink would be like 119 or something like really, really cheap. But this is what I'm gonna be trying out. Um, definitely doesn't taste like amazing, but I don't really care that much. Like I'm not someone who's like super picky, so it doesn't bother me. Also, I have a nice expensive juicer in LA, so I didn't want to buy an expensive one here. So I asked you guys to tell me what the cheapest one that you guys liked was, and this is the one that everyone recommended to me, so I'll have it linked down below if you guys are trying to get into juicing. Really good deal. All right, so it is 5 p.m. I'm editing an IGTV video. Drinking, oh my gosh, my food's done. Drinking some Celsius, Celsius, no. I'm drinking some celery juice. There are so many noises going on. I have my water, getting work done. I'm cooking salmon and vegetables for dinner and I'm going to Spain at 6.30. Okay, everyone, I'm gonna head off to Spain. I'm just wearing my favorite Lulu set. I love this set. Um, the line leggings are so freaking comfortable. I know you're not supposed to spin and like kind of work out on them, but I don't really care. I'm going to another spin class at Class Studios. I took one on Friday that I loved, like more than any Soul Cycle class I've ever taken, and I'm normally like a Soul Cycle snob and will only go to those spin classes. Also, side note, if any of you guys live in LA, there used to be a cycle house in Studio City next to Alfred and it didn't do well so it closed and they're opening up a soul cycle there. This is only gonna be finding people in the Studio City neighborhood but that's where I lived. And one, I wish I had it when I lived there full time and then two, very funny. I'm taking from Paige which is who I took from on Friday which is like the best class ever. It's not hip hop theme, but I think I'm still gonna love it. So I'm heading off at six, my class starts in 30 minutes. Okay guys, I have made it here. Um, I was listening to old school Ariana Grande. A guy is literally walking past me staring at my car right now. When I do this in LA, it's one thing. And then I do it in Texas and people are like, like he's like literally looks uncomfortable. So anyways, um, I'm gonna go into spin. It's only 45 minutes for some reason. But going from a 45 minute workout to a 50 minute workout, like does 50 minutes not feel like it's so much longer? Then you get to 55 and that literally feels like it's an hour more than 45. Does anyone else agree with me? All right, everyone, I'm out of spin. It is just literally the best spin class ever. Paige is just, Paige is just literally the best and she's so cute. And she, someone I guess we had like a mutual follower or something when I posted about her on Friday. So she DM'd me and they have a class that a lot of you guys have told me that's most similar to Hopalotti's. I'm literally one day, I'll stop talking about this. Um, and so I'm taking it tomorrow at 6.30 a.m. and I'm really excited. It's not at the West Village location, it's at the, I think it's on Preston. I don't know because I haven't been there yet, but I'm very excited. Guys, I literally haven't stopped reading in days. Like, it's just, um, ah, wow. 
Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hey guys, welcome back to the I Love You So Much podcast with me, Kenzie Elizabeth, and all my producer Taylor because I am in Texas. Anyways, I just messed up another intro, so I'm now re-recording, but I started off by saying the month of February, and then I realized it's March 3rd, which I personally do not feel prepared for. I don't know why I'm stuttering all of a sudden. Um, yeah, I don't feel like I am mentally in the month of March, so I I just don't really feel great about it. It's currently 8.30. I'm working on this week's newsletter. If you guys have not signed up for the newsletter, you need to sign up for the newsletter. I promise you, you will like it. It's also, it's just worth it. Um, and I'm also getting everything ready for the release of our Yeehaw merch, guys. I'm very excited. So it's going to go... It's gonna go live on Thursday. So a video's going up Thursday, a podcast episode's going up Thursday, newsletter's going out, and then I need to take some like just simple photos of it tomorrow. But I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I really think a lot of you guys will love it just because it's funny. So I'm really excited. I also really want something sweet. And I can't decide if I wanna edit this video or not today. I think I might do like two days of it and then read my Demi Moore book and eat a cookie. I don't even know if I have cookies right now, but yeah, we'll see. Update also. I drank the celery juice later and it was actually good. So I actually don't even mind the taste of celery juice. Like at first I remember not liking it and now I like it. Am I a monster? I don't know. So if you guys have not seen already what the newsletter is. So um, this week's subject is gonna be something all the lines of like Yeehaw or something because of the new merch, but there's just a little um, like intro thing there, the latest. So I always have, um, normally that's a new video, but I decided to put merch there. So it's like my latest video. Latest podcast, um, and then current favorite podcast and current favorite read. So I get asked this stuff all the time. So this is why I wanted to put it all together. So it would just be easy for you guys all. Like then I have my top five favorite products with all of the links. Oh, I forgot to fix. Okay, I totally forgot to fix this photo. All right, the photo has been fixed. I really should have put my new white uh, hydro flask on there, but I love all these. Then we have... A quote, sometimes it's funny, sometimes it's serious, um, Jessica Simpson, like Dolly Parton, but we've also done like Martin Luther King, like it just depends on who, like the week, you know what I mean? Um, my favorite follow, normally it's another like blogger or Instagram person or just someone, any account that I find really cool, this really varies, it's just any account that I find really cool, um, but I'm obsessed with Ashley Graham right now as we know, so I put Ashley, Things I've been learning, which is kind of in the spirit of my like podcast series. I haven't finished that yet. And then also I have um, deals on here now. So it's like, let's save some money basically. Let's so any running uh, special I have, like let's say I do a deal with HelloFresh or something, it'll be in here. Um, like if I run the runway, DoorDash, like all of that stuff. But Go Macro, I'm actually working with them on the podcast. So many, I haven't added the rest. Um, but basically, if you guys either listen to the podcast and you can't go all the way back and find it, or you just want to save some money or whatever it might be, um, all of that will be linked here. But yeah, anyways, that is the newsletter, and you guys should definitely go join the mailing list if you guys have not already. Good morning, everyone. It's 5.50. I have class at 6.30, so I'm going to head that way. This one is a little bit further away than all the other classes that I take, but it's still only, like, I think 15 minutes. But I'm new. I've never been. I don't want to, like... I can't be late, you know what I mean? For some reason, my back hurts really bad. I hope it just fixes itself by the time I get to class. Um, I'm wearing Lulu, and then this is Lulu. Yeah, so all Lulu. Good morning, everyone. Um, it is raining. I made it to class at 6.10, 6.15 now, but it was not that far. It's literally, like, on Luther Lane, so it's right by North Park, kind of. It's like two miles away from North Park. Anyways, my back seriously hurts so bad, which is kind of stressing me out. I'm gonna go into class. I can't wait. It's the sculpt class, which is like a heated mat class, and they say they take the energy of their spin class and put it in their mat class, which is what I need. So we'll see how I like it, everyone. I'm very excited. It's class studio, so this is the Luther Lane location. They don't have it at the um, West Village one, which is the one that I've been going to. Hey guys, it is 7.25. I finished. It was so fun. I really just love Paige. She's so cute. So nice. Um, what a great teacher. Just the best. But anyways, that class was like very similar to Hot Pilates. Way more than any other class I've taken. It's not like the Hot Pilates, okay, so like Hot Pilates that I take is not necessarily the most traditional Pilates. There's like cardio and a bunch of other stuff in it, which was how that class was. So I really liked it. 
there was also lights and like cool music. She had a great playlist. Like it was just really cool. There was also lights. It was just like a really cool vibe, which is what I care about. So anyways, Dallas people, I found the closest thing to Hot Pilates and it is Sculpt at Class Studios with Paige. I'm home. It is like 7.45. It is seriously the best feeling in the world to have your workout done by 8 a.m. and be home. So I'm going to shower. I need to go to my dad's to do laundry. Surprise, surprise, everyone. When will I get my laundry sent and my washer and dryer here? Who knows, everyone? Um, my back feels like not as bad, but it's definitely like a little bit uh, not good. So anyways, I'm going to drink my Celsius drink. Or, why do I keep calling them Celsius? I'm going to drink my celery juice because I didn't actually end up drinking that before class. I just didn't feel like it. And get ready for the day. All right, guys. So I just packed my bag. I got ready completely because I had to take some photos of my new merch, which you guys know all about already. Um, but yeah, it launches tomorrow. So I'm like kind of really doing this last minute, but it ended up working out. Oh, I should have put my bag on already. I got Quentin one. He's gonna wanna match me today, but hopefully he doesn't do that. This is my Yeehaw Chic vibe. I was just saying that in the clip that I filmed for the vlog that goes up on Thursday or went up on Thursday by the time you guys watch this. But I'm packing my bag. I need to go and grab my laundry upstairs. Why is this like literally the bane of my existence? Um, packed my bag in case we go to Starbucks or something. Was watching Danielle and Brooks vlogs. Here's my iPad, my best friend, literally use this 24 seven and I read on it all the time. And I think we're gonna head out. Um, I'm just wearing this really simple look in my normal Air Forces. I haven't worn my new ones that I'm obsessed with yet because I feel like it just has to be the best outfit ever. Actually, it's gonna be really simple. I already know what I'm gonna wear, but I haven't worn it yet. So anyways, I'm gonna head out the door. I have a really good surprise for you. Oh my gosh, I love that you're wearing the other hoodie. I have a really good surprise for you. Hi, by the way. Hi. He literally just got in the car. Are you ready? Yeah, I okay. can coat. Thanks. Hold out your hands. Style icon. Thank you. Hold out your arms, I mean. Close your eyes. My hands. <laughs> okay. Open them. Wait, is this your new merch? Yeah. Wait, did you really not know immediately? Well, you said you got two, but I thought it was like a hoodie and a crew neck. Oh, no, no, no. I got one for you. Uh, <laughs> yeehaw. You'll, you will not be wearing this as much as you're wearing these, but it's still funny. So we're off to do laundry, everyone. I'm really hungry. Do you want to go to Starbucks while the laundry is getting done? <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> wow. I love Starbucks. Yeah. I haven't had breakfast either. I'm so it's hungry. It's a beautiful rainy day. This is your favorite weather. I know. It's so nice. I feel like I'm in New England right now. I know. It's been we're raining a pan, lot. And... But it's like a lot of brick houses right here. Yeah. I mean, like this is like a very beautiful area. And it's a lot of trees, like very big trees. So it just feels so it sounds so stupid, but lie. a lot of properties, especially in my hometown, like half of the town's old, half the town's new, so there's not big trees in the new part. I might be wearing this to the airport tomorrow. Who knows? Oh my gosh. <laughs> um I was afraid that you were gonna want to wear it today so we, to match me. And I was like Tempting. But... Quentin like loves like really loves the idea of us matching. And it's just like not necessarily for me. I just think it's super dope. <laughs> Brad Pitt used to match with every single one of his girlfriends. Look at my hair. Every he's single one of his girlfriends. So there's, uh, he's gonna match with every single one of your girlfriends. No, no, no. I just want to take the concept <laughs> for you. All right, guys. I decided I had to get clutches. It's pouring right now. I feel like I just deserve it. And now we're going to Starbucks. Here's my coffee order. You guys can screenshot it if you would like. Okay guys, we were just at Starbucks for about an hour and a half. I got some editing done on some vlogs, but now Quentin decided he's going to get a haircut last minute, so we're going to go accompany him, and I'm going to get work done at the hair salon, but I just posted an IGTV video, which is so exciting. Um, if you guys want to check it out, it's just like a nice quick chit chat, get ready with me with some product faves. It's a nice, it's a nice quick like chit chat, get ready with me with some product faves, so Check it out. My Instagram is just Kinsey Elizabeth. Um, <sighs> All right, guys. Today has been a day. It feels like one of those really short but like very long fast days because I'm like, wait, I worked out this morning. That feels like a different day. Anyways, um, I did vlog a little clip right after. Well, like 30 minutes after, but. Not gonna include that, um, but Quinton and I were driving today and someone like basically T-boned my car. Guys, 
there is always something with my car. Like, and it, the thing is, is that it's never actually my fault. My car has been hit by someone else. Like, this is a, this one car four times. And it's, like, completely, like, not my fault. Like, it's immediately ruled their fault. It's just, like, so frustrating. I felt bad for the kid. I mean, he's a little bit older than me. But I felt bad for him because, like, it was clearly his first, like, time that anything like that had happened. Um, but it's just so frustrating because this time it's, like, really bad. And it's just like such a hassle, whatever. I'm grateful that everyone's okay and everyone's okay, but I just feel like with popping the tire, my license, all this stuff, like literally all this freaking stuff has just been like so annoying lately. Also, so small, but my freaking zipper fell off my bag and it fell off earlier and I put it back on, but now I just can't find it and I just noticed, so I don't know when that happened. So I guess I'm just gonna have to go back and tell them and then get a new one. I don't really know, but yeah, the good news is. Um, I know that these are like personal problems and like I totally agree and get that but I just have been like like just been like a lot lately just outside of this like I woke up to really bad news with family stuff this morning so I'm just like not having today but I have meal prep that I made yesterday so I'm gonna eat this I need to charge my phone because it's not like 3%, but anyways, so the phone's progressive. I finished my laundry, did all that. Clinton's now at work. Uh, and yeah, I really wanted to go to the lake this weekend because my mom just bought a lake house. This is like her new thing is rental lake properties. And I really wanted to go see the one they just bought. And my like my sister, my stepsister technically, and my niece, my mom, my grandma are all going. But I need my car. I need my own car basically to get there because I live far from them and I need to come home earlier. And I really wanted to do that because Quinta's going to be out of town anyways. But I don't know if that's going to happen. We'll see. Um, I mean, definitely not with my car. I thought it was just cosmetic. And then I started driving and like a bunch of... It's not just cosmetic, basically. So, it seriously is just like whatever. Like, I'm glad that everyone's okay and everything for sure. But I just like, when can I catch a break? You know what I mean? Anyways, um, you have merch available. This guys, it's really, really something. Yeah, but my new session for school started today. So, I'm gonna get ahead on some homework and do as much as I possibly can. And then from there, I'll just figure it out. Stay in, do some computer work and stuff. And then, yeah, we'll see tomorrow. Actually, fun stuff. Some highlight of this week. Um, if you guys know Drew McDonald or Drew Mac, he, I've known him for years and I literally love him. Anyways, he's opening for Olivia O'Brien on tour and he is coming to Dallas tomorrow. So, so anyways, I'm going to see him, which I'm really excited to see him and I'm so excited to see him perform and stuff. And like that's a big tour, so that's like really awesome. But I also love Olivia O'Brien's music, but I'm also just like so excited to see him because he's literally one of the best people ever. Like he is so kind and loving and just like, oh my gosh, he's literally one of the best people ever. Amazing and he has really great music. So I'm so excited to see him. I actually don't even know what venue they're playing. Um, he gave me a plus one, so I'm bringing my sister who literally already asked me to go on that tour. So it works out very perfectly. All right guys, so I just made some salmon broccoli for my meal prep, have my water. I'm gonna put on probably a pretty big deal, my new fave show. Um, or I don't, I don't know, I'll put Nashville on in the background. I'm just gonna be doing homework for probably the next like three hours, I wanna say. I wanna get as much done as possible just so I'm free this weekend, but hi Coco. Okay guys, it is now I think 7.30. I finished all of my schoolwork that I needed to and a bunch of work. And I door dashed some wing stop. I do not remember the last time that I drank soda. I say that and one of you will be like, it was, no, I think. Actually, no, I really literally never drink soda. I don't know when I would have drink it. The only time I'll ever really drink soda is if I'm using it as a chaser, which is also rare. So, anyways. I'm out of breath because again, <laughs> I just like ran on my stairs. I don't know why I always do that. And I'm literally always out of breath in my house. Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog of the last few days. My first clip alone, I just imported it, is 15 minutes originally. So we're gonna end this, but yeah. I just finished the newsletter for the morning. If you guys have not joined the mailing list, that'll be linked down below, as well as the new Yeehaw merch, guys. Seriously, so excited for this. It is the night before we launch, in my time, real time. But it's already up for you guys, obviously. But anyways, I hope you guys have the best day. Um, I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you guys soon.